So in my last video, I managed to defeat the Tier 3 Voidgloom Seraph, giving me access to the brand new Slayer Hypixel added in another update, the Blaze Slayer. Now with this Slayer comes a lot of really cool new items. I mean, have you seen this pet? But I'm not too focused on that. What I am focused on is the brand new minion that the Slayer provides, the Inferno minion. Now to sum up the Inferno minion, basically the admin saw the standard minion system and said, hey, what if we did that? but infinitely more complicated. Now at a glance, the Inferno minion looks absolutely terrible, having a base 1,102 seconds between actions. Now of course there are a lot of ways to increase this, but I figure it's better to actually get the minion first before diving into all that. And now it's time for everybody's favorite segment, Shabadoo does Slayers for an extensive period of time. Yay! Okay, we have our two specimen. Uh, we'll bring him over here. All right, go get him. Go get him. You got this, Linfoot. Wait, Linfoot, Linfoot. No. What did he? Did he die? Okay, I think it's just up for up to us now. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that is, that is difficult. Okay, so this time I've adapted a bit. I've gotten a Sorrow Boots and a Reaper Mask. And I also bought a Wisp Pet from the auction house. And it's just generally useful overall. So we'll see how it goes this time. But hopefully I'll, I'll survive more than 10 seconds. Okay, round two. Let's go. Okay, he is doing a lot of damage. Fortunately, I can just heal all of my health back with the other thing. And now he's gonna summon the two people there. Uh, okay, he's dead. And then you're dead. There we go. Okay, there is a lot of lag for some reason, but that's pretty usual for high pixel, let's be honest here. And can you just die? Thank you. All right, there we go, that was a lot easier. Okay, so now all that's left to do is just do that a bunch more times until I get the Inferno minion, so uh, yeah. Later. All right, so after many hours, I have finally gotten the Inferno minion recipe. Now all that's left to do is to craft them. All right, now unfortunately, each Inferno minion takes around 300,000 coins to make, and I need to make around 24 of them, so uh, yeah, this is gonna hurt my bank account. You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm sure it'll all pay itself back. Just like my last minion investment. Alright, 24 tier 1 Inferno minions. I'm not gonna upgrade them to tier 2, because I think my bank account has suffered enough. Now you might think that grinding all the way to Blaze Slayer level 3 and spending those 7 million coins to craft the minions is the hard part, and it's all just smooth sailing from here. <laughs> no. You see, the method to use Inferno minions is itself incredibly complicated and also very, very expensive. Now, basically the way it works is, you have the Inferno minions, which on their own have a terrible base time between actions, but you use things like their ability, and also the specific minion fuel you can give them to increase that time. I'm not going to explain everything about it, Mini Clune himself actually made a pretty good video explaining everything, I'll have that linked in the description in case you're interested. But anyways, if we want to make a setup that can get the highest amount of profit from these minions, we're going to need to begin the experimentation phase. Okay, so I placed one of the minions down, and it's, uh, it's not really doing anything, so, okay, so from the looks of it, it does take 1,000 seconds to both spawn the Inferno and then also kill it, which is what I thought before, but I just wanted to make sure. Aw, uh, what a good minion, definitely worth 7, <laughs> seven million coins. Totally. Alright, so after concluding my test, I've realized something. The Inferno Minion doesn't actually take 1,000 seconds to get items. It takes double that! 
Because when you consider the fact that both summoning the Infernal and killing it count as two different actions, you're looking at 2,000 seconds for every single item. Fortunately, I have a plan. I would say that one of the most important things when it comes to minions is how you set them up. Fishing minions without any water are completely useless. It's also commonly known that tarantula minions are the most annoying minions if you don't lock them inside an airtight vault. Now you might be asking, how does this have anything to do with inferno minions? Well you see, by using flowing water and hoppers you can kill the infernals before the minions get a chance to, effectively doubling their output. However, a better way of doing this has been found. By simply having the blazes aggro around you and then finishing them off with the necron armor's full set bonus, you can make much more money than before. Now the reason this makes more money is because, for some reason, enemies killed by necron armor are for some reason affected by looting. I, I don't know how that works, but you know what? I'm, I'm just not going to question it. Alright, so after making the farm, I've realized that there are a few problems. First off, I'm dying a lot. And second, my, my wither minion is, isn't doing anything. There's an infernal right here, and he's just sitting there. That wasn't even him. That, that was the water I put so that everything wasn't on fire. Alright, now just to see, because I am a bit curious... I want to find out how well this does on its own, so I'm going to leave this for an hour and then see how much I make. Okay, so after crafting the Gabagool I got, after one hour into fuel, I will make around 160,000 coins. And I mean, you know, when you add in fuel, that's nearly 34 million coins a day. Could this be... The best minion? Oh wait, never mind, slime minions are better.